Hi guys, how are you? Hope you enjoyed the montage. That was a lot of work, a lot of painting to get to this sort of stage here. And that's why the sort of video is light as well. But anyways, okay, we're gonna get on with the weathering now. The external weathering, you already saw what I did on the interior, which was just simply a uh, quick wash using the uh, good old raw umber. So, uh, I need to think a little bit about the weathering here. In terms of actually, the model itself is a little bit delicate and where I'd usually sort of like use oils on top and stipple and things like that, I've got a good chance of actually knocking parts off the model. So I'm gonna use a slightly different technique. In terms of references, I'm actually gonna go with the, uh, the box art. I really like this depiction on here where you've got various stains, you've got mud splatter and you know, the vehicle's obviously in action. So I'm gonna sort of go with what we're seeing on here. And um, the first part I'm gonna start off with is uh, making some washes, uh, environmental effects. So I'm gonna use these three colors, earth, buff, dust, and make a series of mini washes and start application. So let's fire away. Okay, to start off with, we'll just make these washes quite dilute as well. So we've got those three tones. While we're using three tones, three tones are going to add a little bit of uh, contrast and interest. And of course, uh, dirt, you know, dirt, mud, it is different tones. So um, we want to reflect that in our weathering. What I'm going to do is make light, small, dilute washes, not concentrated. Dust and buff are going to be pretty close, I think. Just want to see which one's the lightest. Yeah, it looks like the um, looks like the uh, buff one is the very lightest. And then I think we'll just go with the traditional, normal, low odor thinners. Actually, I don't know what's inside there. I hope that's water. I think it is. Yeah. Okay, there we go, let's get these mixed up. Might have to make up some more, I'm not too sure. But as long as we've got a starting point, I'm gonna use the same brush throughout because basically we're gonna mix in these all together eventually. So let's get on with the application. I think we'll just go with the panel first. Probably a good idea if I can place some of the elements of the model together so then I don't get anything weird happening. I don't get anything mismatched in terms of weathering. So I just stick the door, you know, just dry fit, just in the position, just so I know where it is. Okay, there we go. So yeah, let's start off with this wash on here. Start from the bottom. And instead of fading down, we'll fade upwards because um, the collection of, you know, it's gravity as usual. Uh, we get our dirt, you know, principally towards the bottom of the vehicle and then lighter on top. That's just the way things are. And any terms of streaks and stuff like that, we'll do them a bit later on. Let's go on with some of that um, earthy stuff as well. Let's just add in little areas on top of there. And then also I've got a dry brush here. I'm just going to fade these out so I haven't got any of these tide mark type things. By the way, if you, I know it was a quick sort of montage, but we're doing everything on top of uh, matte varnish. Okay, so it's going to have to, it's very subtle, which is exactly what we want. And the application is uh, pretty easy, nice and delicate as well. Let's hit some of this fender. Fenders are very, very delicate on this model. So I need to be careful. I can't use my usual um, stippling type way that I like to blend oil washes, like oil filters, my 
Um, oil dot filter is one of my favorite techniques because it's quick and easy. You have to take a little bit more time on this, but why not? I mean, we put so much time into the construction, into the painting. And also, I think we'll hit the chassis as well. The chassis, if you remember, in, I think it was part, yeah, the last part, we weathered the chassis rails using pigments in solution, and the oils will work quite well with them. Let's not forget that other tone, this earthy tone here. Let's add that in at random intervals to build this up. So what I'll do now, I'll continue with this and get this first sort of layer on and come back and show you just a point to note as well. I'll try and keep, actually I'll tell you about that later on. We're gonna do something different with the, with the parts at the, at the upper surface, but we'll do that later on. Okay, most of that dust wash is more or less completed. I'll tell you something, they don't tell you anywhere else. They don't tell you any books or any sort of like videos. The big thing with this wash is making sure that you get it everywhere. Because if you don't, I mean the overall, I mean what we're going for here is that the vehicle's dusty. I mean it's been in the field. So there isn't going to be an area that's without dust. So just make sure you just double check everything like particular like little areas like this, like there. Um, make sure that you've got your dust everywhere. That's what I've got to say. Okay, now I'm gonna try something different. I need to speed this up. I'm gonna go in with my dark wash now and start my pin wash technique on top of these oils. Usually I leave this a period of about 24 hours, 12 hours minimum, but I'm gonna try something. I think I'll be able to blend it out. Let's get on with it. Okay, so for the, yeah, the dark wash, I'm gonna, Combine these to the dark brown and the starship filth needs to be a little bit more concentrated, but not much more. We are pin washing, so we're putting a bit of that, maybe another a little bit. I like this grey starship filth, excellent, really universal um, colour for that dark sort of weathering. And I think we'll, yeah, I think we'll just go with the thinners again, the same ones. Right, only a few drops. I want that sort of concentrated, just to start off with the mix. Use the same brush, let's get that going. Like, is that thick, is it right? Is it gonna flow? I think we'll be able to work with that. Okay, here we go, here's a nice panel to start off with. Let's start to run that wash. Into the panel line. Now, even using a fine brush, what happens is you still get these little tide mark things. So what you need to do is just pull these out a little bit. And then you get the grime coming down. And just blend it out a little bit. There we go, like so. So then you've got some sort of dark staining as well around the pin wash. Continue with this. May as well show you what happens. Okay, quickly just show you where we are. Basically the base work weathering sort of done, you know. We've got that dust effect as before and a bit of pin wash so you can see like 
panels, rivets, popping out, etc. Pretty basic stuff. Now, of course, this is World War One vehicle, and I think uh, mud is the theme, and we want to follow sort of something like that uh, that box art. So I'm going to use this and apply it only in certain areas, as in the extreme bottom portion. So we need to be really subtle with this because it is quite a, uh, a heavy effect. Let's go on with that now. Quite straightforward, what we do. You can't mix this stuff up. Well, you can probably with a toothpick, but it's very thick, which is the property that we require. You're gonna use a very small brush and a toothpick. I'm gonna start adding the splatters. Very subtle at the bottom. Okay, now let's do that. Let's sort of see if we can uh, show you more. See how small the, uh, the speckling is? So, yeah, just continue. Show you these uh, mud effects. Real subtle. I haven't kept them heavy, just got that the depiction of splatter. Might have to do a little bit on the wheels as well. But I think I want to glue on the wheels now, just to sort of get that overall look. So let's go and do that. Okay, fortunately this is starting to come together now. Just want to finish off the final bits and pieces really. Um, yeah, the turrets I think. So first of all, let's do the machine guns. And the simplest way and the easiest way is using a graphite pencil. So yeah, just a very soft graphite. Just rub it all over the exterior. It's going to give it that uh, metallic shine that we need. And then you can actually just polish it with your fingers. And let's hit that barrel as well because we want to highlight the barrel. Let's do the other one now. And then also uh, we're going to add some weathering onto these uh, interior components using dark iron. Do a sponge on here. Get some of this thick stuff on. Then we're just going to hit the seat, really. That's all we want to highlight. Like so. Just leave it. And now we'll polish up the... Uh, the seats using this cotton swab. Okay, as you can see, basically we're nearly there. Just got to do the last bit. A lot of people forget this for some reason. Um, a final bit of dusting. We're going to use some enamel um, dust wash, and I've thinned it down. And I'm just going to add light dusting at the bottom of the vehicle. That's all there is to it, using the airbrush. Getting really difficult to handle now, but I'll uh, try and show you as best I can. Just take these turrets out. You can tell it's right when you can barely see it. That's the way to do this.
And this just complements everything that we've done up to this point. Keeping really on the lower extremities, that's where this dust is going to be. So I'll continue with this, and then we'll have a wrap up. Okay, let's uh, wrap this one up, guys. So you're looking at the finished uh, Austin. Yeah, basically I only added a very small amount of detail, uh, which I'll show you in some photographs. But um, yeah, I really, really enjoy uh, enjoyed this build. Uh, particularly like to crack into a mini art kit and see that they have really upped the standard. I mean, the big difference here was the plastic is just so much more buildable. Now, just bear in mind, of course, tolerances are tight. And this took a lot of time. It's a small model. It didn't really have loads and loads of parts, but it had extreme detail. And that did sort of eat in time as well. We had to deal with the interior painting, exterior painting. So I had to really cram things in, basically the weathering. I had to sort of push that into a one day to get this video out to you. Anyways, I really enjoyed it. What do you guys think? Do you think I'm going to take on a mini art? Do you want to see more subjects like this? Something a bit more esoteric. Um, it's certainly, I'm looking forward to see what's next from mini art um, because I really, really did enjoy the build. So anyways, we're going to crack on to something else very soon. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, this is the bear and I am out of here.